When she was asked what it was like to see the Earth from space, the astronaut Sally Ride said, when you can feel that close to something that you're used to seeing from this great distance, well, it changes a person. On this day, June 18th, 1983, Sally Ride became the first American woman to travel into space on the, when she went with the crew of the space shuttle. Now, coincidentally, or we might say providentially, on the very same day, 55 years before Sally Ride's historic moment, in 1928, Amelia Earhart became the first woman to travel in a plane across the Atlantic Ocean. She traveled at that point with the pilot, who was a man, and the mechanic, who was also a man, but she was the first woman to make that flight across the Atlantic. So two trailblazing women, and what they saw changed them from the sky, from outer space. It changed them and who they were and how they saw their lives. You know, sometimes we need a little distance, don't we, from our daily life, from our routines, from the busyness that we find occupying our days in order to see more clearly and to understand our life in a new way. That's what Jesus encouraged his disciples to do throughout his ministry, to step back every now and then, to get a little distance and to look at our lives. What it's, what's important to us? What matters? And most importantly, who or what do I treasure? Prayer is actually about taking the time, making the space to consider, can I step back a bit? And what do I see when I look at my life? In today's gospel, we hear those very famous, beautiful, and yet very challenging words of Jesus. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be. What's your treasure? You know, over this past challenging, difficult year, we've thought a lot about who and what we treasure. And maybe as often happens in life, it's when we can't have certain things, we realize how much we value them. When we can't see certain people and be with them, we realize how deeply we value them and how important they are to us in our lives. You know, the passage from today's gospel is taken from a much longer uh, section in which Jesus speaks about earthly possessions, how they can get in the way, how they can distract, how we can be possessed by things in a way that is both spiritually and morally unhealthy. Lately, I've been talking to people who are moving, and the word that comes up more often than not is downsizing. With downsizing comes this great challenge. You need to look at your possessions, and you need to be able to say, what do I really need? What's helping me to live? What makes my life a stronger person of love? Or what are the things that I'm carrying with me, I'm taking with me, that hinder me? That are of no use to me? Does what I have, does it get in the way of who I am being called to be by Christ himself? I think that summer offers us a great opportunity to sort of do that sort of inventory, to, you know, kind of take some distance. Maybe you're going to be on the beach, you know, instead of reading the book to take a moment. Maybe you're going to be taking a plane ride. Maybe take the earbuds out and stop listening to the music for a moment. Or maybe you'll be watering your flowers at night. And in those moments, ask, what's in my heart? And what would I like to change about myself? What's in my heart that is possessing me in a way that is not helpful? What do I need to remove so that I can be a better disciple? It's only when you and I pull back that we create some distance, that we're quiet with ourselves and quiet with God, can we see in a new way. And the promise is that the grace of God is always there that will help us to change and to move forward. This weekend we are observing Father's Day. You know, a little update. Last week in the video I showed a very small 
statue of the Sacred Heart, and it used to be on the dashboard of our family car, and I have been in possession of it for many years. And my mother saw the video, and she said that that statue predates their being married, that my father had that statue in his car uh, when they met. Uh, and so for me, that statue takes on an even deeper meaning. It reminds me that my father always carried the love of Christ with him from a young man, and that he always tried to live a life of love wherever the journey of life took him. And you can be sure of this, that no matter what downsizing I might need to do in the future, that statue of the Sacred Heart is always going to make the cut of things to be kept. This weekend, as I said, we are celebrating men in our lives, fathers, grandfathers, stepfathers, godfathers, those who have carried us in their hearts, those who have seen us as a treasure, and who have helped guide us and supported us on our journey. Now, they didn't always do it perfectly. Some of them had great struggles. But in different ways, these men have helped us become the people that we are today. So no matter where the journey of life takes us, to the moon, to the ocean and the other side of uh, the Atlantic, or maybe no further than our own backyard, may our hearts always be found to treasure the things of Jesus.